very good uh, afternoon to all our learners and welcome back uh, to the session of um, MSD012 ecosystem and natural resources and this is the last session for this course right uh, so i welcome you again dr abhishek chandra uh, and i i don't think so we uh, need another uh, introduction to this session so uh, please uh, uh, please, I'm, uh, I mean, hand over to you, Dr. Abhishek. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sarad, and uh, hope I will be the audible and my screen is the visible to all of you. Okay, yes. yeah, thank you, Gurmit. Yeah, so in the previous session, in the Friday, we had to discuss about the thinking of the A biodiversity and uh, we are the taken to the key points which will be the taken in this uh, change in the cropping pattern due to the economic consideration, loss and the replacement of the traditional agro and the multiple trees, population growth and the land segmentation, lack of the traditional knowledge, out mitigation, change in the food habits, social value, and the life is stock the population. So up to the here, we are discussed in the previous uh, session. So I am going to the forward and I'm, I'm taken to the one or two slides in the previous presentation. So because it will be the focus on the Indian Malian state. So you can recall we are in the previous session, we are discussed the and uh, focus on the Himalayan state in the central Himalayas, that will be the Himachal and the that uh, Uttarakhand and himalaya as a region when we are to discuss it will be the undiluted trend is first human population small land holding fragmentation rent fed subsistence agriculture low input low output production system and uh, with the research paper and the publication we are the found out that it himalayan region agro ecosystem is basically the Bemen centric agriculture and discussed that uh, most of the cases is the involved only in the female male is the involved into the two cases one is the plowing and the harvesting time the rest of the activities is it done by the women so we can say that it will be the women centric agriculture fertile ecosystem it is the natural how it will be the fertile so it will be the, we are the already discussed, it will be the Indian plate and the Tibetan plate and the collision between the Indian and Tibetan plate. The landslide is the occur. So low risk bearing capacity of the farmer and it will be the reach to the plants, animal and the microbial diversity. So as I am saying that it is the prone, you can see here, it will be the collision and it will be the increase so on the basis of this it will be the having so we are the already discussed so it will be the prone for the earthquake then the farmer is the develop with the different type of the agriculture practices and which will be the commencian with the the, the environmental biological social and economic status indigenous ecosystem is the highly and the site is specific it will be differ from the one place to another place somewhere it will be the taken the four crop over the two periods somewhere they will be the mux cultivation and they are the cultivated the several crops together in the Uttarakhand it is specifically they will be the cultivated the 12 grain together so in the local, it will be the called Baranajan. Baranajan is the 12 grain together, they will be the cultivated. And maintain the traditional agrobiodiversity management of the, and evolve the various type of the crop rotations. And we are to discuss this thing is the already. So entire the cropping pattern, they will be divide the entire village into the two parts one part they will be start in the even year and another part they will be start into the odd year so each and every year they will be the, getting the much more biodiversity and agro diversity and crop production 
and entire crop they will be getting because they will be the less dependent upon the road so up to the here we have discussed in this uh, previous so this study is showing that the food medicinal socio cultural and religious perspective and analysis the energy and the economic efficiency so you can see you can see that and uh, by the you can ask the traditional agriculture is the framework of the three pillars one is the environmental feature second is the economical feature and second one is the social feature economical feature will be the involved input cost reduction local market improvement of the rural economy high market price and women employment women centric in the environmental feature which is the combating the soil erosion increase the biodiversity reduce the climate change not only the local level when it will be the climate change it will be the involved it will be the globally built soil health and the local adaptation so we will see how it will be the impact today the traditional agriculture on this built up of the soil health and reduce the climate change and combating soil erosion traditional agriculture in the social features we are already discussed in the previous session the traditional knowledge human employment reduce urban migration local economy and the human health traditional agriculture a climate smart approach for the sustainable food production because in the modern agriculture we are taken to the different segments but when we are the talking about the traditional agriculture sustainable food production is the one of the major challenge in the 21st century era of the global environmental problem such as the climate change increasing population and the natural resource degradation including the soil degradation and the biodiversity loss climate change among the greatest threat to the agriculture system the climate is smart traditional agriculture practices involve agroforestry interaction between the crop and animal into the farming system traditional organic composting that will be the farmyard manure how it will be the making and nowadays it will be the changes because they were not getting to the much more farmyard manure because the they are not using to the cattle and dependent dependency so they will be the shifted towards the vermi composting and the crop cover because it will be the important when it will be the barrel then it will be the release the soil respiration because the most of the soil organism are the present so when it will be not covered then it will be the during the respiration they will be release the carbon dioxide and it will be goes to the atmosphere but when it will be the completely the cover reduction then it will be take the photosynthesis and reduce the crop and the microbial soil respiration crop rotation which will be the beneficial for the maintaining and reduce the soil erosion intercropping as we are the previously discussed and again we can see it will be the important and role of the intercropping which will be the use the farmyard manure and it will be the production system so these are the features which will be the our traditional agriculture practice will be known for the climate is smart and with this one so animal dung the crop reduced and domestic food waste is the combined together and mix in the heap of the organic waste then it will be the doing the moisture and microbial degradation and they form the organic compost which will be the given to the intercropping field or the monocropping field both but it will be the increase the soms the soil organic matter so we can see and it will be how it will be the soil organic matter soil organic carbon they will be the interrelated and how it will be the useful to this uh, 
reduce to the soil erosion, reduce the greenhouse gases emission, increase the soil fertility, improve the aeration of the soil. Firstly, we can think and we will take one by one all the things and improve the cation exchange capacity, soil moisture, and how it will be the carbon enhance the carbon sequestration. So these will be the beneficial and it is the scaling out the climate smart agriculture in the South Africa that they are deploying with this and the harvesting and the leguminous intercropping, they will be the interchange, wheat management and the paste and agroforestry, all the things is the growing in, the, in this scenario. So we will be the going and it is the already the impact of the farmyard manure in the cropping cycle in the rain-fed agriculture in the central Himalaya. It is our own study. And we are the found when we are the given to the different component, that is the 0, 60 ton per hectare crop season and the 30 and 60 manure and find out which quantity will be the good and it will be the increase. So we are the found, it is the, in the all the cases, it will be the good, only because the mulasari, it will be the negative, will be the start, because before that, it will be the fellow period and after that. So whatever the quantity is the 30 and the 60 kg, it will be the good, because it will be the going into the positive direction over the three year, three year of the cropping system. So the conclusion of this study is saying the farmyard in all input a company is not only to increase the productivity and profitability, but substitute increasing the carbon stock serving to the global community in terms of the climate change mitigations. So soil and the land, it will be the vital resource of the sustainable development and not only the here, the United Nations Sustainable Goals will be the focusing on this uh, period. The restoring the health of the degraded land in the critical and the overall the human development as the land is the vital supporting system, which will be the directly, indirectly internment of the even sustainable goals. However, more than the 33% of the global land is the degraded and thereafter the affecting to the livelihood, the billions of the people in the worldwide. Realizing this fact in the 23rd session of the UN Assembly, has the formally adopted the resolution to celebrate 2021 to 2030 as the event decade of the ecosystem restoration for the preventing and the hunting of the reserve and degradations of the ecosystem worldwide. While this is the move of the historical and the beneficial for the both people and the planet, restoring the degradation land and the different scale and the level required to the shift to the existing restoration approach. And technology will be used and which will be used for the recycling of the chemicals and the changing of the pollutant. And keeping the view of this, because when we are the doing these things and the restoration process, it will be the very long term. And it will be the required the fund and when the individual or the group in the ruler technology, it will be the starting to the working to require the fund. But our government agency cannot be do this because the one time it will be the started and it will be the period of the three to four years. After that, it will be the maintained by the local people. So financial restoration at the ground level between the collaborative collaborations between the crowdfunding are institutions, institutional funding are, and critical to the maintain into the mo momentum. So private company and when it will become in the carpet social responsibility and exclusively for the re restoration of the land, because it will be the important. When we are the not thinking about 
the restoration process, then it will be the totally eroded by the soil and it will be the cause the different. This picture is the, from the Mirjapur, Uttar Pradesh, and second picture is the, from the Gadwal Himalayas. You can see the large amount of the soil which will be degraded it and we are the when we are the making to the different uh, widening of the road it will be the simply and it will be thrown and the just dumped inside the aquatic ecosystem so because we are the not checking to the value of this uh, this one when when it will be deposited then it will be the sedimentation and entire the our aquatic ecosystem and the terrestrial ecosystem both will be the damaged one hand, we are the talking about the development and second hand, we need to the conservation of this degraded ecosystem. So it will be the very, very the crucial things when we are the aware about the public, then we can think about. The so land is the vital and the resource for the sustainable development. So firstly, we can understand what is the soil and how it will be the basic component. The soil is the made up of the four component. 5% is the organic matter. It will be the very less and the very important. And the 45% is the mineral, which is the coming by the weathering of the rock. And 25% is the air and, sorry, 25% uh, is the air and 25% is the water. So this water column, Whenever the, in the run fed condition, it will be the filled with the air. You can think about, you can take a uh, water bottle. When it will be the not filled with the water, then it will be occupied by the air. When you are the slowly, slowly putting, putting the water into the bottle, then you can see the water will be filled with the water and air will be the escape. So what will be the happening during the flood condition, the entire water column will be the filled with the water. But in the drought condition, it will be the no water and it will be the totally covered with the air. So this 50%, it will be the generalized structure and this 50% when in the flooding condition, it will be the damage to the our ecosystem. And in the drought condition, when the ecological drought, then it will be the convert there is the no water, then our vegetation cannot be take. So it will be the another perspective of the, this uh, flooding and the drought condition. So I'm not going to the, uh, in that detail, I'm coming back to this uh, focus on this 5% uh, organic matter, which will be the important for the sust sustainability of the, our agro ecosystem. So what will be the happen when we are the considering this uh, Basically, we are the taken to the, this uh, soil organic carbon and uh, ecosystem, which will be the consider for the key component of the global carbon cycle mitigation, rising the atmospheric carbon dioxide. We investigated the effect of the different type of the land use, land cover, and see how it will be the soil organic carbon is stabilized in the Himalayan region. So in this uh, experiment is performed with the, our group and finally we are the found then this will be the important for the carbon sequestration stabilization in the soil. However, the land cover type in the lower altitude of the central Himalayas may be the managed by the better soil management practices and sequestering. Stabilize more carbon stock so before going to this, we need to this uh, understand what is the soil, how does the soil is the form, composition of the soil, what is the soil profile, what will be the carbonic matter, carbonic carbon, organic matter, and how it will be related with the organic carbon, soil respiration, and what is the soil organic carbon sequestration and stabilization. So firstly, we will start with the how does the soil is the form. As we know, it will be the common and the understood. It is the weathering of the rock and it may be the physical weathering, chemical weathering, biological weathering, weathering of the rock and formation of the soil. 
for the understanding we will be learn the physical chemical and biological weathering in the different form but in the nature all type of the weathering will be the happening together so second thing is come why do we study this soil the soil is the, as a natural resource and it will be the different in the color the most important it will be the great increaser it will be the everything will be the combined together and our ability our survival on this earth due to the only on this uh, top most layer of the earth crust medium of the crop production if the soil will be not, not present we cannot the produce the crop it will be the absorber of the co2 gas as i am saying that it will be the swing and it will be the atmospheric carbon dioxide which is the directly indirectly linked to the our greenhouse gases and it will be the absorbed by the soil medium of the plant growth it will be the similar to the crop growth because when we are the talking about the forest and everything then it will be the plant the crop basically the use into the agriculture field agro biodiversity but when we are the talking about the longer term that will be the vegetation or the plant medium of the heat and the water storage the about if you are assuming that the 100% energy is the coming from the sun then uh, you will be to think about this uh, 66% will be the reflect back to the atmosphere and only the 34% will be the absorbed by the earth surface which will be the use for the all the nutrient cycle carbon cycle nitrogen cycle phosphorus cycle water cycle water evaporation condensation every process will be with the help uh, absorbance of the heat and it will be the home of the plant animal and microorganism if the soil will be not present nothing will be the survive and the so we can say it will be the home of the organism essential natural resource no doubt we cannot the produce mechanical force will be utilized but it will be the natural product which will be provided by the nature at the free of the cost nature will be the not charging a single penny for the making of the 1 gram of the soil or entire soil so filter of the waste and water and the waste whatever the dirty water you can throw into the soil it will be the percolated with the different size and point and finally it will be the clean so there is the concept of the soil profile which will be the different layer topmost layer is called o horizon and lower level is called r horizon o horizon is the represent organic horizon and r is the represent that it will be the rock horizon that will be the parent rock material in between the layer a b c is just given to the alphabetical order but topmost layer is called organic horizon so whatever the degradable material on the basis of that we are the divide into the two part degradable and the non degradable materials which can easily degrade and not and it will be the source for the construction material the art medicine everything will be the coming from this waste decomposer we are the already discussed and apart from this the one the important things will be the coming all the geological climatic biological human history it will be the snapshot if it will be not decomposed it will be preserved into the different layer of the soil profile then it will be the store and it will be the having and after that all the sindhu ghati sabhyata and uh, all the mohan jodro all the civilization we are the getting when we are the digging this things then we are the getting all the paleo botany and the structure the plants we are the help of the soil so soil will be the important and it will be the sustaining of the any agro ecosystem so you can see it is a different layer as i am saying that the different soil profile it is a different different color 
So you can see, and when you will we'll see any style profile, you can see the topmost layer is totally different because it will be the mixture of the organic matter which will be the coming. So it will be the clearly identified. This will be the topmost layer which will be the organic horizon. So whenever it will be the different in the color and the size, you can see here it will be the, this. This is the topmost layer is the organic matter. We need to the product because protect because all the things will be the dependent and it will be the so it will be the different with the layer you can see in this why it will be the different so there is the five factor which will be the important for the controlling of the soil type four factor may be the same the living thing climate topography and parent rock material four factor may be the same but the fifth factor is always vary. What will be the fifth factor? Fifth factor is the time. So you can see the time will be the always vary. What is the current after the 10 minute, one year, it will be the change. So soil is the different color and the different shape, living thing, climate, topography, parent rock material, all with these things. You can see it is the five factor and the two geographical region will be the same or the different. You can see here in the desert ecosystem, the plants which are the growing, their root is the going is the deeper where they will be the found the water. But in case of the grassland, you can see it will be the up to this, this one because the entire the water availability but here in the water is the only presented to the town, so it will be this. Temperate deciduous forest, you will be defined the root system in a different type. So chlorophyll forest, where it will be the kind, you can see it will be this. And the temperate rainforest, there is the not required, so vegetation will be not going to the very deep, the root system. Already discuss about this, but here it is the again come into this. Uh, so you can see here the, this is the five percent of the organic matter, which is the basically the come after the death and decay. When uh, you will be the read upon the our food chain and the food wave, so you can easily say after the plant and animal death and decay, the microorganism will be the convert into the organic matter. So this five percent is the basically coming from the ecosystem and the food chain and the food wave. And this 45% is the coming with the weathering of the rock. And it will be the change with the different type of the soil. Soil is the basically the three type, clay, silt, and sand. Similarly, the rock material will be the three type, sedimentary, metamorphic, and deciduous. So rock will be the slowly broken and the small pieces and organic matter, as I discussed, it will be the coming by the this. And slow soil formation is the very, very slow process. So you can see everything is the defined, the organic matter, which will be the coming with the rock, broken down the rock into the small pieces. So it will be the continuous process. Whenever it will be the having, it will be the done by the nature. And similarly, when the organism is die, then it will be the come to the contact of the soil, then microorganism is the play and it will be the role in the different segment of this one. In the previous IF flow, the one uh, flow diagram of the ecosystem, where in uh, right, uh, we are the making to the four pillars. One is the abiotic component, second is the biotic component, then the food chain, and nutrient cycle and the energy flow. So you can see the nutrient cycle, the carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, which will be the basically focus on the, these things. So this 45 minerals is the coming with the parent rock material, and this will be the already discussed the ignisia, sedimentary, and metamorphic. 
and weathering force rock and the mineral will be the breakdown will be small pressure first in the temperature change temperature change most you are the familiar with the one thing our earth is the rotated their own axis day temperature and night temperature will be the difference in india when we are the talking about this you can see we are the usually visible this second is the earth is the rotated around their own axis at the sun so in the india we are the facing and the proud we can say we are the different phases that will be the winter rainy and uh, summer season second is the water action how the water will be the erode to the this uh, weathering of the rock and after that it will be the also involve into the soil erosion plant root might be you people are the seen uh when in the rainy season the when water is the continuously flow into the surface then what will be the happen you can see the one green color layer will be develop in the local language we are the saying it is the kai and it will be the very very slippery when you can put into the pure lake then you can slip basically it is the lichens and when it will be dry then you can it will be the converted into the gray matter that will be the organic matter so initially in the rock there is the no there will be the no nothing will be the there but what will be the happen after the some time when it will be the goes the two layer is develop one is the rock and the gray color layer will be the develop in the another layer organic horizon or horizon so when we are defined is this two layer that will be the newly filed soil profile and it will be the newly it will be just arise soil profile when you are getting to the different layer then it will be the, you can age and then you can take the carbon isotope and you can say it is the how much older second is the ice expansion it is the also the weathering force what will it happen you can also observe you can when the water is the store and converted into the ice then it will be the preserve and expand their volume expand their volume so what will be the happen when the rock is here then it will be the develop a crack and it will be the filled with the water the water will be freeze when temperature will be down then this water will be converted into the ice and what will be the happen then it will be the expand their volume so internal pressure will be the create and the crack will be the develop and increase again it will be the filled with the water then again will be increase and finally it will be the increases increases and finally break down so these are the physical force temperature water action and ice expansion it is called physical weathering water action because the water is the made up of the two component h ion and oh ion h and our rock will be the made up of the carbonate phosphate and sulfate so when h ion will be react with the carbonate carbonic acid h ion react with, with the phosphate phosphoric acid h ion react with the sulfate sulfuric acid will be the develop and when acid will be de develop then it will be react with the body of the rock then the rock become a fragile and broken so that will be the chemical weathering and this is the biological weathering when the root what will be the happen as i am discussed that the two layer is the develop then the root and the seed of the any plant will be the come here and it will be the penetrate and it will be germinate then root will be go inside the rock and rock become a fragile and broken might be the you people is already uh, seen the ficus tree which is the germinate from the wall of the building in delhi it will be the delhi and uh, everywhere it will be common because if, uh, when it will be the moist place into the building then ficus seed will be the germinate and the people and the burgers and it will become arise and root will be goes inside 
the wall and wall become a crack and crack become a develop and it will be the broken broken and broken same thing will be the happening into the uh, nature when the land it will be the broken and then so that will be the called biological weathering as in the beginning i am saying that physical chemical and biological weathering will be the happening simultaneous into the nature but for the reading purpose we will be the learn one by one second is the grinding froze mechanical grinding in the mechanical grinding what will be the happening when the earthquake or it will be the happen then the bigger rock will be the come down with the gravity and it will be the broken that will be the mechanical grinding so this is the basically the all type of the weathering force which will be the influence the and the formation of the soil it will be the force the that will be the this 45% now we are the coming to this 5% in this 5% it is basically the important organic matter and a small proportion but it will be the very important so we can see here the why the organic matter is the important so you can see the this plant material will be the grow the agriculture or in the this because whenever the this uh, trees will be in the rainy time all the animal will be the come down under the tree for the protection of the rain protection of the sun so it will be the important because when everything will be the cut nothing will be the survive on this so it is about the organic and it is the soil erosion i am not going to the very deep of the soil erosion i am just given to the a uh, session because it will be the important because uh, without uh, talking about the soil erosion we cannot understand the process so you can see first picture which is the cover with this uh, land and the grasses and second during the construction so most of the person is thinking that this is the construction it is the one of the cause of the soil erosion no it is the cause of the soil erosion but it is the not actual cause it is the accelerated it will be the increase the thing but what will be the happen only the two factor is the responsible for the soil erosion one is the water and again is the wind whenever the speed of the water and the soil as we water and wind whenever the speed and the force applying to the soil particle then it will be the erode and it will be the detach from their original surface then displacement and finally deposit to the another place so because here whenever the single drop and the rain will be the come then the this force will be absorbed by the grasses but here the soil is the loose so it will be the absorb and it will be the easily so it will be the accelerate the speed of the soil erosion and soil erosion by the water by the pores it will be the pore type splash seed reel and gully erosion splash erosion which will be having the with the one drop of the water when the one drop of the water will be come into the ground then it will be detach the small tiny amount and it will be goes nearby area when the flood will be come then it will be the entire surface will be the going and it will be the uniform thickness will be the reduced for example in this notebook you can see when we are the turning and remove the one by one piece then the thickness will be the reduced from all the side uniformly so when it will be the happening into the nature then it will be the called sheet erosion second uh, third one is the rail erosion in the rail erosion it will be the happening when the continuous water is the coming and it will be the flow with the against the gravity and it will when uh, the water will be the go in direction it will be the erode to the soil and it will be make a rill like structure and it will be the called rill erosion when the several rill combine together and form the bigger structure and it will be the erode that will be the gully erosion see so you can see here 
like comparatively in the this flow diagram this plus erosion ct erosion and real erosion these are the real and these real combined together and form a bigger structure so this will be the card gully and finally it will be reaches to the stream and the channel so what will it happen then it will be the start the sedimentation it will be goes the downstream as i saw the picture of the gadwal himalayas is also when the road construction then it will be the build up and it will be the going down and it will be the start the sedimentation and three process already said and discuss the stage of the erosion and the sedimentation detachment displacement and finally the deposition it is also called the 3d structure of the soil erosion firstly the soil particle is detached from here then displacement and finally deposit to another place so this is picture you can see here it is the naturally the water fall which is the coming from here and it will be the accelerated during the development phase so what will be the happen in the barrel sound when the soil when the rain drop will become then you can see it will be reduced and the soil erodes the easily but when it will be the coming with the where is the grasses and vegetation is the present then the energy of the rain drop will be the absorbed by the grasses and the vegetation cover so one of the benefit of this uh, cover they will be not lose to the our soil so vegetation cover not only the prevent the soil erosion it is the also provide the soil organic carbon and help to the reduce the carbon dioxide concentration into the atmosphere so you can see here the vegetation provide the organic material which will be the use for this and now come to this uh, the point the soil respiration which we are the talking because the plants which will be the taken to the atmospheric carbon dioxide and during the photosynthesis it will be the store inside the plant and the common equation which will be the generalized the six molecules of the carbon dioxide and six molecules of the water in presence of the sunlight and the chlorophyll making to the glucose molecules and liberate the carbon dioxide uh, liberate the oxygen so it will be the store into the plant body then it will be the used by the primary secondary tertiary consumers and second when it will be not cover you can see here here it will be the cover with the vegetation and from here and here it is not cover so you can see here the decomposition decomposer and the nematodes which is the taken they are the taken oxygen from the atmosphere and liberate carbon dioxide similarly the earthworm which is the present here so it will be take oxygen and liberate the carbon dioxide the root mycorrhiza and the microorganism which is the present everyone so it will be the called because this uh, soil respiration because it will be the home of the different uh, component so it will be the use and the term the soil respiration respiration but when we are the cover the entire the things will be the this one then it will be the produce photosynthesis so amount will be the whatever the amount is the used by the nematodes and this they will be released it will be the equivalent comparatively less and large amount will be released by the green plant it is the common the carbon cycle i think i no need to the explain because it will be the use the already then the plant then it will be transferred to the organism and the fossil fuel then it will be returned back to the atmosphere this picture you can see here during the process of the photosynthesis we are the bringing the atmospheric carbon dioxide into the this biomass and during the respiration soil respiration soil organic matter loss apart from daily activities we are the taken to the fossil fuel which is the very uh, bottom of this soil soil profile then it will be taken and it will be soil burning then it will be goes to the atmosphere so large amount of this rotation will be the happening the soil organic carbon organic matter 
and organic matter soil organic carbon it is just half of the soil organic matter so there is three different pools in the soil organic carbon one is the stable pool intermediate pool and stable pool of the carbonic soil organic matter the liable pool which is the chemically degradable and physically accessible so this liable pool can be the used by the microorganism but is when it will be the converted into the stable pool stable pool is the chemically degradable but physically inaccessible to the microorganism so when it will be the top most layer is the liable pool then intermediate and then when it will be the converted and reaches to the stable pool then it will be not changed by the microorganism so it will be the taken to the time so we need to the green cover in the top most then it will be the store and it will be goes to the intermediate and finally reaches to the stable pool so when it will be reached to the spider pool it will be not used by the microorganism and then not going back to the atmosphere so if this is the pattern which is the including the degradations and the clay particle which will be the surface so chemically it will be the useful for this already i am discussed this uh, o horizon r horizon is the parent rock material you can see here without the digging up the any surface you cannot understand what to be there so when you can see here it will be the height of this you can uh, assuming this uh, things so organic matter will be reaches to the stable pool then it will be the useful for the mineral bound component so some experiment we are did done and the collection of the different component of the soil profile which will be the use in the different component so my team the my students is going in this picture is from the delhi from the sanjay ban they are the working and they are collecting to the soil in the different depth and this equipment we are the using without the disturbing in the surrounding area we are taken to the depth different depth up to the 1 meter and sometime it is required to more than the 1 meter so we can increase the height of this by the ending of this uh, different components so because in the field it will be not marking so we are the manually marking the 60 70 80 and 90 and uh, without disturbing we can see here firstly we can uh, remove the litters from the top and then we are collecting and marking the soil sampling in the field itself and when it will be returned back to the our lab then we can analyze the carbon nitrogen with this chns analyzer and the different isotope we are descending because the this facility the isotope which is not available in india so we are descending back to the us and our collaboration so on the basis of the different isotope we will be getting the time period how the soil profile is the old and this is the picture we are the collected the soil sample from the himalayas so same phenomenon and it is the traditional method when we are the not uh, having this uh, length we can you can see here one pipe is here and another here so when we are not we can simply dig this with manually but when we are the digging the manually it will be the hamper to the our surrounding parameters which is right and left and it will be the damage and when we are the doing this experiment into the agriculture field it will be the damage to the most of the agricultural field and farmer supposed to be the objection don't we are using this uh, phenomena so it will be the difficult so it will be the, you can see here in this uh, phenomena and it will be the having the different component i am the audible yes 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 Yes, audible. 
Okay, okay, okay. So you can see here in this scenario, it will be the damage to the agricultural field and the moisture land. So one experiment is also done into the response to the carbon and the nitrogen microbial activities. So abundant in the composition in the paddy field in the Garhwal Himalaya. So we are the done. And the experimental side, we are the taken to the experimental study area and it will be the rent fed. And you can see in the, the third picture, which is the pit or the containing the farmyard manure. So you can see it will be the picture and experiment when it is the remote sensing data and it will be the analysis. The compare with the map, what is the location and what are the setter. There, what are set structure so it will be the site one is here second is here third and fourth when we are the comparing this data so we are the found the impact of the farmyard manure and uh, in the 30 50 60 and 30 kg of the farmyard manure and our result is showing that the carbon is the five to sixty percent and nitrogen is the thirty to five percent contained where they reduce the significantly and to the paddy cropping season. While the CN ratio is the value, is the much more value, it will be the 46 to the 90%. CN value, what is the CN value? See, CN ratio is the one of the important factors for the knowing to the soil fertility. When it is the more than 10, then you can say it will be the good. But when it will be the less than the 10, then it will be soil is not fertile and fertility to the for the agriculture purpose. That's why we are the given to the inorganic to increase this quantity in the urea and the murate protas. The microbial activities is increased the 60 to 132 percent. The grain yield in the paddy field is the also the rate of the farmyard manure. The different cropping pattern, the soil impact of the soil organic and the nitrogen content the end of the paddy season, the rent fed agriculture is the already increasing. So what will be the happen the situation where the high quality of the forest leaf litter is not available, increasing the use of the burmi composting in place of the traditional farmyard manure. We are introduced the burmi composting in place of the traditional farmyard manure on the basis of the feasibility options. And this experiment will be carried out into the poor quality of the agriculture land. Hence, the optimum dose of the farmyard manure is the likely to be the below and highest input of the 30 kg farmyard manure over the decade. And it will be the increase the long-term trial and the mathematical model is the requirement. So you can see here, it is the effect, our entire the land and the soil erosion by the low and in our India in the case of the highest with vulnerability, because it will be the important and, and you can see here, it will be this, uh, the picture in the Himalayas where we can from the top to bottom when we are the given, then it will be the totally wasted and the rest we cannot restore. So we can think about it, how we can restore and utilize our agro ecosystem in the Himalayas. So these are the indicators for the conservation of the sustainable management in the traditional agro ecosystem in the central Himalayas. First thing is the biomass production which is the use for the organic carbon. Energy input budgeting is the required. We can think about the value adding product, which will be the use to the increase the monetary benefits to the farmer. Soil and the land quality indicators, it is the required because this ecosystem is the very, very fragile and it required to the substance and the crop rotation, of course, the farmers is doing the crop rotation. In similar manner, we can put the scientific threads and give to the their value. And threat and emissions of the agrobiodiversity, socioeconomic perspective, religious practice, 
perspective traditional recipe pre prepared by them we need to the enhance their quality and it will be the sent to the international and the national level medicinal use ecological policy related to the issues they can make so it is about uh, the my presentations if you are having any question you can ask me i will happy to the answer your questions now it will be the open so uh... yes sir करेगा तो प्रोजेक्ट में नजर भाई ने मांग नहीं मिलेगा आप ऑन कर दीजिएगा yeah it is a, also the good for me also because uh, yeah. nowadays the delhi university itself uh, morning to evening i am the teaching and only in the front of the laptop only see the black screen so i will be the also happy when we we'll, i will see the some faces in front of me yeah through this medium let us make this open distance learning and jo uh, pehle the it was open distance learning the teachers and student they never met but through this icit at least let us i mean connect through these and let us know each other right that is the reason why we are having online counseling session regularly thank you very much now the session is open for discussion if you are not able to understand what he i mean explain you are free to share there is yeah, no, no need to hesitate anything right so that we can improve can i put a question yeah yeah sure sir yes no uh, we hear that uh, old soil and new soil when they talk of um, state united states and canada they say that the soil is new and uh, indian soil is very old so uh, is it because the agriculture started uh, late there and agriculture started earlier here and if it is so why it is so um, so much talk that it is different because ultimately 100 years of farming and uh, 1200 years of farming what difference will it make to our land uh, will it be very different no so basically on the concept of that because they are 